Okay, so I just took this bucket and beat this block of ice out of that bucket. And what this block of ice is, is a squirrel. You can see part of the meat right there. All I did was fill that bucket up with snow, melt it a little bit over the fire, and then let it freeze all night. Now I've got a frozen chunk of meat right here. So I'm preserving this meat for when I'm ready to eat it. Now I'll put this up in the crotch of a tree somewhere stashed. As long as it's cold, I got fresh meat when I need it. Okay, so here's our coyote carcass from this morning and this dude's frozen solid now. And it's been less than an hour. And this thing is, or less than two hours, excuse me. Less than two hours since we skinned it. And it is frozen solid. So you can see I can barely cut that. So I'm just going to cut a couple pieces of meat off of this, just like this. You can see that big piece of meat right there. It's got a little bit of fur on it. That's not going to hurt anything. We got another chunk right here we're going to cut right out from the leg area. Just like that. And get these cut up and put in a stew pot. All right, so well, here's our coyote meat that we just cut off there. You can see it's got some hair on it here and there. We can burn that hair off just by putting it in the flames like this real quick. Burn all that hair right off of there. We won't have to worry about that being in our food once we do that. Just to get it small enough that it's going to stew up pretty fast. Just cut it in a couple of chunks here like this. All right, so we'll cut this up into some smaller chunks just like this so it stews faster. Charcoal never hurt anything. Now we'll just let her cook. You know, one of the big secrets of living off the land is you have to be willing to eat what you catch. And if that's a possum or a coon or a coyote, that's what you're going to eat. Your chances of living off squirrels and rabbits, forget about it. Your chance of finding big deer, forget about it. You want to be after the small animals and the medium-sized animals. Yeah, a small deer would be a good kill for sure. But you're going to see a lot more of those smaller type animals available to you, especially when you're trapping and hunting, than you're ever going to see deer. You just have to be willing to eat what you catch. Case in point with this coyote. If you can't preserve your food, like I've done this squirrel, just save it for another time, more leaner time. Put this thing in the fork of a tree somewhere or in a stashed area somewhere that animals can't get to it but it's going to stay cold. Then you'll have that in reserve. Especially in winter time like this. Summertime, different game plan. You're going to have to smoke your meats and things like that. But in the winter time, very easy to freeze things. Tell you what, you want to know what coyote tastes like? I'm about to tell you. 
but I can tell you now, it's good eating. Think you're gonna come out here in the winter time and live off nuts and berries? Think again. You better learn how to trap. You better learn how to hunt. And you better be willing to eat what you kill. Man, try some good meat, fellas. Good meat. Oh yeah. That's a good piece of management. Don't let this broth go to waste. Hot. Get that broth out of there and drink every bit of it. It'll have all the spices in it. It'll warm you right up. Got that red pepper. It's in that uh, Old Bay seasoning. Makes that water real warming. Get that down in your guts. Oh man, that's better than any chicken noodle soup you ever had. I'll guarantee you that. Oh man. Folks, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me after another video real quick. Just a short clip segment that will be part of episode two of the Pathfinder TV. But I want to give you guys quick lessons here and there because I know I've got some overseas subscribers that would, you know, love to get on the subscription channel, but Google doesn't offer it in their country. So I'm putting little lessons out of each one of these Pathfinder TV episodes that I'm shooting into shorter segment videos for my regular channel. I thank you for your continued support. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family. For everything that you do for us at the Pathfinder School and Self Reliance Outfitters, for all my instructors, family, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.